Hello dear pupils, welcome to the house of knowledge. My name is Hussein Mijinovic. Our task is to improve your language skills through the webinars and answer to the most common questions you have sent to us. Well, the topics of our webinar are ways to change the world and Diane Fossey. Let's start. And the first and the only question we are going to answer on the, to on the first topic is how can we change the world? Most people un under most uh, most people underestimate underestimate their ability to make a positive change in the world. They are overwhelmed by the sheer number of things that need to be done. All the people that uh, need help and all the worthy causes that uh, and all the worthy causes that exist. However, lots of individuals making small efforts can change the world. Um, begin by asking yourself what small thing you can do right now, where, where you are, with what you have. If you need some ideas, here are some small ways you can help to change the world. Grab a snack, grab a, a snack that gives back. When you are hungry and in need of a snack, have a gourmet nut bar called This Bar Saves Lives. Each time that you buy one, they donate a life-saving meal to a child who is starving. You can help put an end to that just by having a snack. Here's their mantra, buy a bar, feed a child, we eat together. Rescue a dog from an animal shelter. There are many healthy, lovable dogs sh uh, scheduled for uh, euthanasia in shelters. Instead of buying a dog from a pet store, rescue one from a shelter. You'll be creating a lifelong bond with a dog that really needs a second chance. So, a uh, dog is just an example. All kinds of animals, all, uh, you can find all kinds of animals in shelter. Share a holiday meal. Anthony Robbins, the famous self-help author, shared during an interview that when he was 11 years old and living in poverty, his family didn't have food to celebrate Thanksgiving. Then a stranger brought them groceries. This had a profound impact on Robbins. He resolved right there and then that one day he would help others, just as this stranger had helped his family. When Robbins became successful, he started giving away holiday meals to people in need. Through his foundation, he has given away millions of meals to people across the U.S. Become a weekday vegetarian. A what? A weekday vegetarian? We all know the reasons why we should become vegetarians. In order to keep up with the demand for meat products, Cows, pigs, and chickens are packed like sardines in factory farms where they live tortured existences. Being a vegetarian is better for your health. By limiting the amount of meat that you eat, you'll be reducing your like, likely, likelihood of having heart disease. Being a vegetarian is better for the environment. Meat amazingly causes more emissions than all of transportation combined. However, a lot of People might intend to become a vegetarian someday, but they just can't get themselves to get to that day in which they eat their last hamburger, pork chops, or some other favorite meat dish. Uh, being a weekday vegetarian means that from Monday to Friday you are vegetarian. During the weekdays, if you want to eat meat, you can. Pay it forward. In the movie, Pay it forward. A seventh grader named Trevor is given the following assignment by his social studies teacher. Think of an idea to change our world and put it into action. Trevor comes up with the idea of paying it forward. You do a big favor for three different people and tell each of them not to pay you back, but to pay it forward to three other people who in turn each pay it forward to three more. Go ahead and pay it forward to three people who need help and tell them not to pay you back but to make a commitment to help three other people when they can.
Next, donate your old bike. Your old bike can provide transportation for low-income people in developing countries so that they can get to school or go to work. That is, it can help to take them from poverty to self-sufficiency. It's just an example. You can donate anything you don't use anymore. By fair trade goods. It was also mentioned in the video lesson. Uh, fair trade guarantees farmers a fair price for their products. In addition, it helps to eradicate unethical practices such as slave labor and poor working conditions. The fair trade movement focuses on products that are typically exported from developing countries such as handicrafts, coffee, chocolate, flowers, tea, bananas and honey. Show kindness. Yes, it also can change the world. Uh, it seems it's simple to show kindness to others. Hold the elevator door open for someone hurrying to catch it. If the person standing behind you in line at the grocery store only has a few items, let them cut ahead of you. Help a handicapped person cross the street safely. Give someone an honest compliment. Kindness has a ripple effect. It's bound to come back to you. Pick up trash. Pick up trash at a local park. Just walk through the park with a trash bag and pick up any trash you find on the ground. You will be beautifying the area around you, not just for your en enjoyment, but for the enjoyment of everyone. Invite people that live near you to get involved as well and make it, it an event. Take a volunteer action. A great way to make a change in the world is to take a volunteer action. On your next vacation, go abroad and help build houses in a rural African community. Help save an endangered species from extin extinction. Or teach English or something that you know uh, to disadvantaged youth in a developing country. You can do it uh, also online. Vote with your wallet. Every dollar you spend is a vote. Buy from and invest in companies that are socially responsible. Join FreeCycle. If you haven't heard of FreeCycle, the idea is twofold. Help conserve the environment by reducing waste and get items you don't need into the hands of those who do. Join your local FreeCycle group or start one in your community and then post items you don't want to the list and wait for people to respond. When they do, arrange for them to pick up the item. Help stray cats. Help stray cats survive outdoors by doing things such as the following, setting out bowls of water where they can get to them, giving them tuna and covering an area from the sun so that they have a shaded spot to cool off in during the warm summer months. In the winter you can help them stay warm by modifying a dog house and insulating it with straw. Do something for an, uh, something for an elderly person. Help an elderly neighbor by mowing her lawn, watering her flower bed or getting her groceries. One way to find out if your elderly neighbor needs help is to just drop by for a casual visit and listen to them. It's very likely that you will pick up on something that they need done, then volunteer to do it. Leave something good behind. Make it a habit to leave something good behind uh, here are some examples. If you are done reading your magazine or newspaper or book, leave it behind for someone else to read. If you buy a soda from the vending machine, leave some spare change behind for the next person to use. When you eat at a restaurant, leave a generous tip, and so on. Concluding, we can say that you don't need a million dollars, a million dollars to change the world. All you need to do small things like those we told about. Live your, your best life by changing the world. Diane Fossey is the second topic of our webinar and we can surely say that she was a true example of world-changing person. You learned a lot about her in video lesson, uh, but I have prepared a short video about Diane and her life with gorillas. 
let's watch the video. We leave civilization behind us and go into the heartland of the mountains. To build a nest may take up to five minutes. Carefully selected vines and stalks are bent in around the animal's body to make a good rim. The younger animals seem to have a bit of trouble with foliage that seems to have a mind of its own. Therefore, it has to be put in place bodily. They begin play nest at the age of two years, but Sometimes their initial flimsy efforts need more practice. <laughs> Perhaps because he has lost all of his peers, or maybe because he is in that special classification of young males, Digit has been remarkably tolerant toward observers and even appears to welcome their presence. He is also especially attracted to objects we take out into the field, such as camera lenses, notebooks, and gloves. Slowly, slowly, over the years, about a year and a half, all the animals of Group 4 were approaching very closely simply because of their own initiative and the sense of curiosity. To have finally been accepted by the wild gorillas was its own reward, and the thrill of each day's contact is one that will never diminish. Well, my friends, you, uh, you uh, know that now Dan is a true hero who dedicated uh, her life to protect nature and animals. I'm sure we all can take care of one animal around us that need help.